Hi, my name is Eddie Case. I work for the Hamden County Sheriff's Department. And I'm Antonio Padilla from the Holyoke Safe Neighborhood Initiative. Yeah, and Valley Giz Day is actually May 2nd. So we just wanted to give a little information to the community in terms of what exactly the Holyoke Safe Neighborhood Initiative is. So we actually started a pilot six years ago down in South Holyoke where we targeted an area of 400 community residents. In 2012, we did a survey down there and found out that 65% of the kids down in South Holyoke had never attended an after-school program. A year later, we worked with all the different agencies and we knocked on those same 400 doors and found out now that all the collaborations with the different agencies, we were able to get 63% of those same kids connected to after-school programming. So that's the kind of work that we're doing. So the Hoyoke Safe Neighborhood Initiative is really a collaboration. Um, we know, everybody knows there's so many comprehensive issues. So when we did that survey and found out that so many youth, and keep in mind, at the time we started in 2011, the graduation rate was 48%. So, um, I mean, the collaboratives that are going on in Hoyoke and all the work from the school department and all the different agencies working together, I think the last reported graduation rate was 62.1%. So that's the work that can be done. Sometimes people look at the issues in the community in terms of poverty and the gangs and crime, and they think that the issues are too big. Well, what we've been able to do is raise up a lot of volunteers to invest in the lives of these kids. So we're able to get both youth and families connected to services. But I think the thing that we're most proud of is the work that we've been doing with the basketball leagues. I mean, we just had 220 kids in a basketball league. We identified 65 kids really need us to invest in them more. So with the 50 different coaches that we have, that are able to invest this intensive mentorship program in character development, we're able to get kids that were likely going to be dropping out of school and get those kids to rethink where they want to go. And many of those kids are now doing well. Some of those kids are actually in high school. So that's the kind of things that we're doing with the Holyoke Safe Neighborhood Initiative. As being part of the Holyoke Safe Neighborhood Initiative, it started about three years ago. And the results that have come through the Holyoke Safe Neighborhood Initiative has been very rewarding. I've seen kids that have gone and moved on from the high school, gone to college, also going to, um, to the military service. And I was able, through my experience, through the probation department and also through the United States Marine Corps, I was able to lend my experience out to the youth in the city of Holyoke. But even during that time, in the beginning stages of myself participating in Holyoke Safe Neighborhood Initiative, I was able to expand, also to meet many agencies that were able to contribute. Um, and also uh, participate and also to instill and also to also engage and also to create more programs for the city of Holyoke and the youth there. But even then, the, the experience and also the, the partners that I have met throughout the years have been nothing but rewarding. And I hope that uh, you continue and I hope I can continue with the Holyoke Safe Neighborhood Initiative. Yeah, we actually have over 100 different agencies working together. And Johan's actually taping us right now, and Gundara has been a great partner with us. In fact, one of the things that we're doing with Gundara is we have a couple of outreach workers, um, thanks to some monies that came from the Attorney General's office and a JAG grant that we applied for. We have outreach workers that are actually going out into the community and reaching people, finding people that are addicted to drugs and need to get connected to services. So out of 60 outreach cards in just the last three months alone, the recovery coaches from Gandara have been able to contact 44 of those clients. 15 actually went into their Hope for Hoyoke site on Suffolk Street, and seven got into a detox center. So that's the type of work that can happen through the collaborations. So, so again, consider on Valley Gives Tuesday, May 2nd, to donate to the Holyoke Safe Neighborhood Initiative. Thank you. Thank you.